Moving on, former Taiwan President Ma ying Zhou began his 12-day China tour in a symbolism laden visit to the Muslim where the founding father of both China and Taiwan is buried. Ma visited Sun Yat-sen Mausoleum in Nanjing, which was the old capital city of China, when nationalists had ruled in the early part of the 20th century. Ma then paid tribute to Sun Yat-sen, the founder of the Republic of China and the Nationalist Party, also known as the Kuomintang. He gave a short speech before bowing in front of the memorial. Speaking to reporters, Ma said that both sides must pursue peace, otherwise neither will have a future, referring to China and Taiwan, which Beijing claims as its own territory. Ma's tour of China comes as tensions between the two have continued to rise, egged on by a mutually antagonistic U.S.-China relationship. In the meantime, Chinese people welcomed Taiwan's former president, Ma ying Zhou, who visited the city of Nanjing on Tuesday, where he paid respect to the Muslim of Sun Yat-sen. Ma arrived in mainland China on Monday in what he called an attempt to reduce tensions a day after Taiwan lost one of its few remaining diplomatic partners to China. The ex-president is visiting in a private capacity, bringing a delegation of academics and college students for exchanges, as well as members of his family but the trip is loaded with political meaning. Ma is expected to tour the mainland from March 27th to April 7th, stopping in Wuhan and Changsha, as well as other cities. North Korean state media released a series of images Tuesday showing leader Kim Jong-un posing with what objects look like missiles and missile warheads. And Kim was accompanied by Hong Sung Woo, a senior official of the ruling Workers' Party of Korea and also associated with Pyongyang's missile and nuclear development in previous state media coverage. The Korean Central News Agency KCNA also released two reports early Tuesday about tests of missiles and an underwater drone system, saying specifically that the missile launches were a test of nuclear weapons delivery and the underwater drone was a strategic weapon system. All of the images released by KCNA have not been independently verified, and some of the faces of military officers are pixelated at source.